T. Clark here, and this video is on the 2022 AP Computer Science A FRQ number 1A. So in question one, we have a scenario or we have a simulation of a, of a game being played. So each game has three levels. So we'll talk about that in a second, but the level has a goal reached method, which will return true or false, whether that goal has been reached. And it has a get points method, which will return the number of points, which will always be positive. Um, at that specific level. And there's a bunch of other uh, uh, variables, constructors, and methods that might be used. But again, we don't have to worry about that. We just have to worry about using get points and using goal reached. So the next page, we um, have the game class. And it looks like we have three levels, level one, level two, level three. Um, we have a um, constructor where the instance variables we set up. Again, we don't have to worry about this code because it says implementation not shown. So you don't have to worry about coding that. We just assume that it's gonna work and it's good to go. Same thing with the is bonus. So is bonus is a method we'll be probably using. It'll be true or false, depending on whether it's a bonus game and that'll be um, determined later on or we'll use it later on. Um, we have another method play, which will simulate the play of the game, um, which will play like all three levels and um, update all the data. And again, we're not coding that, we're just gonna be using it. And here we go. So this is um, to be implemented in part A, where we have to make a method called get score, which returns an integer. Um, and it'll return the score earned in the most recently played game, and it'll, it'll be described in part A. Okay, part B, we can skip for now, so I don't have to think about that at all for a second. So let's look at part A. So it says, write the get score method, which returns a score for the most recently played game. Okay, so each game has three levels. Uh, the score for the game is computed using the following helper methods. So we, this is the is bonus method I was just talking about. Um, it will be returned true or false. Okay, so um, we'll use that later on, probably one of the bullet points. Um, we also have the goal reached method for the level um, class. And it'll be true or false depending on the lever, level, um, basically if you beat the level. And then again, get, game, or get points was how many points the user got at that level. Okay, it might be zero or it might be positive. So if it's positive, it um, depends on these rules. So if they beat level, if the user beats level one, um, they get the points. So if they go hit, have the goal reached. And then to get the level two points, they need to have beaten level one, gotten a goal reached and level two. And then similarly, level three is only gotten if they do all three levels. So level one, level two, level three, and um, I guess I could do cascading um, if statements, that'll work. So let's see, and then the score of the game is a sum, so we add them all up. And then here is a bonus. So if the game is a bonus game, the score for the game is tripled. So times three if it is a bonus. So what else we have? We have a table of examples. So we have, this is basically one playthrough. So in the first playthrough, um, they, the user reached the goal each time. So add them all up. And then it's a bonus round, so they got times three. So the answer should be 2,400, 2,400. Um, the next game they played through, um, they, the user didn't play uh, beat level three. So it's just the first two, 200 and 100. And then there's no bonus, so it's no times three. So it's just the sum of those two. And then same thing for play three through. Um, even though they beat level three, uh, since they didn't beat level two, they only get the, the first points for, um, level one but it is a bonus round so true means that times three so times three if it's true times three if it's true up there okay then what's the last one last one the um the user didn't even beat level one so they didn't get any points and even if this is true it'd be times three but it's still zero okay so it says to complete the get score method okay i'm gonna go back to and actually if i was um taking the test i would have this page open at the top and I have this page open at the top as well and then I'd start working. So to be implemented in part A. So first things first, I see I have this int. So I'm gonna make my result um, variable which matches the return type. So int result. And um, I'm gonna start that as zero, right? You know, the users don't have any score. It's set in down here, it's a zero if nothing. So I'm starting at zero and then I always like when I'm coding to return the result. It might be kind of difficult if you're trying to save space in your paper, but don't forget to return it at the end. So you might do all this crazy good coding um, uh, logic, but if you forget to return, that's one point off. 
So I like putting that down there just in case. And yeah, running it, um, if I run it, I have some um, helper methods already set up to see if I get it right or wrong. So zero, 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 and then I'm not on B yet. So what do we have to do? We just say, we have to get the points. So we only get the points if level one goal is reached. So if, and then if I look back at the code that I had up here, I have that private instance variable and I do have access to it because we're all, this is all in class game and that code is at the bottom of the code. I'm not gonna show that because I have helper stuff that's kind of hacked together, honestly. So I'm gonna use level one level. I'm gonna use the level one um, goal reached method. So I'm using this dot goal reached uh, to see if, oh, I have to click level one goal reached. So if level one goal reached, okay, I'm going to get the points for level one. So I'm going to add to the uh, total the level one. I think it's get points. I'm going to put it, but I'm going to triple check. Excuse me. Yeah, get points. So I'm just adding up. It's just a sum, basically. Adding up the level one points, adding up the level two points, adding up the level three points. And you could, if you want to do, and I'm going to copy paste because I'm on a computer. Otherwise, you have to type it out. And I wouldn't type it out, honestly. You could say, okay, if level one and level two dot goal reached and all that stuff, and then we have level two got to get points. But it is faster if you cascade them. So if I nest this loop, so nesting loops. So if I say level two is, okay, so if I, level one is goal reached and then level two goal reached, after that or inside that, it should work out. And then I can do the same thing. I could nest another one for level three. So if I'm gonna copy and paste again, level three, make sure everything's set up. Oh, that's kind of, kind of long. So level two, oh, what I have level two twice. What's going on? I pasted twice. I think something's wrong with my macros. So level three, that's what's happened. Dot, okay, okay. Let's get my tabs back normal. Okay, so level one, add level one. Level two, level two. Let's put some enters in between. And then if it's level three, the result I'm adding level three get points i'm not done yet okay so i'm going to triple check these bullet points right here so level one points are only earned if level one is reached okay level one reached level one points level two points are earned only if um level one and level two so level one and level two level two points added up and then and level three level three points added up so there's my points for all three levels and I'm not done because it says if the game is a bonus game. So I have to down here say, okay, is it a bonus game? If the game is bonus, so how do I do that again? I look up at this code from the game and I have my helper method right here is bonus. So I just call that. So if is bonus. Now, what do I do if it's a bonus? I have to triple it, right? Tripled. So I'm gonna take my result. I'm going to multiply by three. And so I think that's all of it. So let's double check if I have my code all right. So I have 2,400, 300, and 600 based on the um, examples right there. So that's the first FRQ for 2022.